Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. We will be checking out the last of the tutorial missions, the combat tutorial mission. So hopefully this is the most interesting one because we'll begin doing a little bit of that pew pew pew. So I will see you guys on the other side of the loading screen. All right, we have loaded in. Think you are ready for more dangerous tutorial? Or the dangerous tutorial, excuse me. Well, you're gutsy, I'll give you that. Thank you. I said gutsy, I didn't say smart. Anyway, let's get moving before everyone dies. All right, there is a pirate raid on its way. We need to gear up some guards quickly. We need to assign at least two guards to fight them off. On it. All right, so we're going to go to the meeples here, and let's find ourselves two people. Looks like it's going to be Coupon and Spectacles. Coupon has guard level of 10, so let's give him that laser rifle. And Spectacles has a guard level of 10 as well, so there we go. They have both been assigned to guards. Now, let's see what these pirates are made of. Defeat the pirates, so we can use the rally order. And let's find our door... So it looks like our doors are down here. So we will send our guards down here and all of our people will go and hide away. Um, sadly, they like to hide over there. So let's go ahead and get this speed moving a little quicker. Um, is that the pirates there? Oh, that is the pirates there. So let's send our guards up here and they can intercept the pirates. Looks like one of our guards got killed and we killed the other pirates. That wasn't very pleasant. Things are only going to get be getting worse if we don't prepare ourselves for uh we'll be eventually overrun let's better equip our meeples before the next fight they could use some better armor for stars get your science team to research body armor as soon as possible so let's go ahead and get body armor researching Ooh, and shield generators so hopefully we don't get torn apart by the meteors all right so body armor is going uh, eventually, we'll also want to get the anti-ship turrets so we can shoot down their little pirate ships before they even reach us. Uh, let's see, what else is there? We won't be researching, obviously, any of this, but just to give you guys an idea of all the stuff you can research. Now that your meeples can take a few more blows, let's gear up for the assault of our own. We're going to need to be quick before they come back. All right. If you want to ra raid enemy space stations, you'll need a ship of your own. We just need a few more resources, and then we can build one. What do we need? We're going to need at least 10 advanced electronics. Think you can manage that? I will try. Um, since we, I know we're going to need... Let's get all the way to the top here. Shield generators. Let's go ahead and get that going. And let's go ahead and get advanced electronics to 10 more. So let's just set that at infinite. So our people can start making more of those as well. So did we actually lose anyone? No, he must have just got knocked down. And as you can see, ooh, he took quite a bit of damage. Let's see, he's got ablation to his ankles and feet, some severe ablation. Uh, do we have a doctor? Kill. Okay, <laughs> irony killer is our doctor. Or no, he's a scientist. Do we have a doctor? Um, let's get someone assigned as doctor. Toothpaste, do you have any doctor? All right, well, we got to assign him as doctor anyways because we're going to need someone to fix up our people. So let's get him on that. So our folks can get healed up. What else did uh, Coupon have going on with him? Um, mostly ablation. Ooh, it's getting infected, though. Some of these are getting infected. So we'll get him healed up and ready to go while we make the rest of these advanced electronics. As you can see, here's our little medical facility. We've got some medical beds, a medical cabinet, and I guess a bathroom. That took a while. Now let me show you how to construct a shuttle. First, you need to choose a docking clamp where you want to begin construction. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. And actually let's go down here and construct the ship. This is the ship construction panel. Here you can choose a name, primary, and accent colors for your ships. Don't worry, you can change it later. Cool. All right, when ready to construct your first ship, so let's go ahead and construct the Pelican class transportation ship. So our engineers will come out here, and as you can see, they're going to work their way down that ladder, and they'll come out and build that beautiful, beautiful ship for us. So that is fantastic. Let's go check on, was it Coupon? All right, Coupon's looking a little better. Looks like he's got some gel on everything and starting to heal up just a little bit. So yeah, he's recuperating in the medical bay, and he is passed out on the bed. 
but he is healing up. And it looks like we finished researching the shield generator. So for funsies, let's research, I don't know, efficiency, I guess. Why not? I don't think we have to research anything in particular. Looks like Kiss is out here building ourselves that Pelican transport ship. So we will have to assign someone as a pilot and then put those two guys on there as guards and send them out there to raid the pirate. While we are building this ship, please don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on Meeple Station what you like about it, what you don't like about it. If you have your own station going, tell me what you're doing and how it's going. And don't forget to comment both on my audio quality, video quality, commentary quality, because I want to know how to improve to make better videos for you guys. And lastly, I know it's a big ask, but don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. All right, so the ship is built. Now that we have a shuttle, we're going to need a pilot to navigate it. Assign one of your meeples as a pilot. So let's see who has some pilot skills. And it looks like, uh, did Toothpaste have any pilot? Toothpaste has some pilot. So he will be assigned as a pilot. Now, let's tell our pilot to board our new ship. You can't send a pilot anywhere without one. All right. So we're going to go to ship crew. And Toothpaste will become our new pilot. Then we will eventually have to assign the guards once he gets on. Now with a pilot, we can send our ship away to do various tasks, such as scouting, mining, or raiding. But first, we're going to need to fuel hooked up for our ship. Fortunately, we already have a supply of fuel from our fuel processor. All you need to do is connect the line to the docking clamp to fuel our ship. So let's go ahead and select fuel and do, 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 and come up a level. And let's see, that's look like this is our fuel processor here. And we'll bring that to the ladder like that. All right, there we go. It's a little back ass word, but that's okay. And we'll get that fixed up here in a second. So as you saw, that purple utility line is our fuel line. This is the fuel processor and some fuel storage. How much fuel do we got stored? I can't quite read it. Uh, looks like we got 300 liters of fuel. I'm not sure how efficient or how much the uh, Pelican holds. Let's see if we can find it. it holds 500 fuel. But we'll be able to at least fill that up um, three three fifths of the way, and that will should get us uh, to be able to go where we need to go. Most of the trips I've noticed only take like 20, 25 liters of fuel, so not not that much. Um, looks like coupon's not doing well. Let's go check on him. Um, he is still not doing well, so let's go ahead and assign Kitty as a doctor, and doctor just so he gets a little bit more treatment. Now all we need to do is assign guards to our ship crew. We can finally get out of there and show those pirates who's boss. Yeah, so let's go ahead and assign our meeples. Start with spectacle and then we will also get coupon and they will hop on that ship and we will send them to do our bidding and attack those evil, 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 evil pirates for us. So I think uh, neither of them have made it down yet. Looks like one's coming down here soon. And here comes the other. Haven't quite seen both of them make their way down. Spectacles is on here. We're just waiting on Coupon. See, he healing up. Looks like he's still healing up a little bit. Poor guy. Um, still has a left and right elbow injury. So hopefully that starts to heal up here pretty soon and he can get his butt down there. He's just going to lay on that bed, huh? All right, well, I will see you guys once Coupon is healed up and on the ship. All right, Coupon is all healed up and has boarded the ship. And let's see what the general has to say. It looks like you're all set. Time to face our foe in battle. I cannot wait. All right, so we go to our ship and we click on launch. And there is the enemy space station. They have 10 crew members and we're only sending two guards. So we will see how this goes. It will take some time for our ship to arrive, but once it does, we will get notified of the battle's outcome. If a raid is successful, we will loot some of their more valuable cargo and possibly eliminate some of their opposing forces. Raid another station enough times and you will vanquish it entirely. Awesome, awesome indeed. The only downside to raiding another faction is how it will damage our relations. They'll stop wanting to trade with us and most of all start retaliate, retaliating. Oh, we should expect that they will retaliate. 
One of the best ways that we can prepare is by building a shield generator. It is very useful. Not only will it protect us from enemy bombers, but meteors as well. We should build one right away. And it looks like we have a successful raid. Your crew courageously stormed the station of superior prowess, and the odds were stacked heavily in their favor. After a long and grueling battle, your crew finally overpowered the opposing forces. When victory seemed evident, the opposing opposition surrendered, and your crew quickly looted all that they could. Some of the crew were injured during the battle. Pirates consider you a formal enemy. All right, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a shield generator here, and we're going to go to modules and shield generator and plop that right there, and we will build that, and we will get ourselves a nice little force field. And like they said, that prevents bombers and meteors from striking us. And there we go. Excellent. Now all we need to do is power our shield generator with advanced power. You're going to need to build a transformer in order to produce advanced power. Transformers? A transformer will consume power to create advanced power. Build one so we can charge our shield generator. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a transformer placed down here. And we'll plop that guy right there. And then we'll also go ahead and set up the advanced power line. Like, oops, not quite enough graphene. So let's make sure we're producing graphene and we'll set that at infinite so they can start to build that for us as well so let's hop on down to our ship and get our guards off and as you can see they brought back some ice some carbon feldspar aluminum ore silicone some aluminum and a couple fish and that's it so a good little good little raid right there for us just waiting on them to build that generator and build us or craft us some graphene. And let's go ahead and lay that down as well. So we are ready when they get back. Now let's check and see here. Ooh, they did take quite a bit of, um, they're starving. Interesting. So hopefully we uh, get Kiss up here to, to start building some stuff. I don't know why he's starving. Probably because it took so long for us to heal everyone. Uh, let's check our kitchen. Where's our kitchen at? Um, I mean, the chef's making meals. We should be producing food here. Uh, we just don't have any. All right, next trade ship that comes in will be sure to buy up some food. He is not, Kiss just not wanting to buy, build anything. He's running away to go use the bathroom. Just come over here and build some stuff, my friend. And he's still not doing it. What a jerk. You think he'd just go ahead and build it? I guess he wants to... I don't know what he's doing. They're all getting hungry. Starting to lose some health. Starving, 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 starving. Just, yeah, build it. Build it, build it, build it. No! I don't know why he won't build it. Well, I know why he won't build it. But, oh, okay. Let's, um, let's get down here and buy fish. And do they have any simple meals we can buy? No, they don't have any meals. All right, so that's at least a couple fish someone can eat. Okay. So just waiting on them to build this stuff here. Let's go ahead and assign just randomly. Um, I don't care at this point. We just need someone to build it. Engineer. And um, yeah, hopefully someone comes and builds this stuff here in a second think he's going to there we go so he's going to put those advanced electricity wires in and he's building the advanced transformer all right connect he just needs to build that one last thing just in time a pirate bomber is inbound brace yourself so as you can see there's the bomber attacking our station and our shield generator is doing a fantastic job now shield generator has 100 units of protection each bomb does about 10 damage as you can see but it does slowly recharge so we should do just fine. We're at 75 right now on the shield generator. And another bombing run. So we should be about done with that bombing run any second now. 68 health. And it's still just slowly recharging from the power. Advanced power. 65. All right, we did it. Those pirates don't stand a chance. And that concludes our final tutorial. Now that you've practiced the basics, you should be able to start your own space station from scratch. Thanks. Good luck and try not to die. All right, so this one did not go as exactly as planned because it took forever for our guards to heal and we ran out of quite a bit of food. 
but that's okay. We learned how to guard our station, send our guards off on raiding missions, and to protect our own station with a shield generator. So don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below, both on Meeple Station, my commentary quality, video quality, audio quality, all that fun stuff. And I know it's a lot, but please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by today in this combat tutorial mission, and we will see you in the next Meeple Station video.